Photosynthesis, the process of gathering the sun's energy in plants. Inside the leaf of the plant are millions of tiny organelles called chloroplasts, which are filled with a pigment called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll absorbs the sun's radiation in the form of UV light, which are electrons traveling through the atmosphere. And these electrons come down from the sun, carrying a great deal of energy. Inside the chloroplasts are two main suborganelles called the grana, which are stacks of these green tissues. And then there are bridges between the grana called stroma. In the grana, we have the thylakoid membrane. And in the thylakoid membrane, we are going to see what is called the light dependent reaction. This reaction takes place only when UV light is available, light coming down from the sun. So we have those excited electrons or photons traveling through our atmosphere. They come, they come down from the sun and are absorbed by the chlorophyll in the grana. Um, in this process, the thylakoid membrane is going to break apart water. And in the breaking apart of the water, we are going to get a hydrogen um, atom, which will pick up those excited electrons. And we will also release um, some oxygen out into the atmosphere. This excited electron will jump on a molecule called NADP to form what is called NADPH. And this NADPH will then travel over to the stroma um, for the light independent reaction. It is called the light independent reaction because no light is required. Uh, we used to call this the dark reaction, but actually it takes place all the time. So light independent means it, light is not necessary. Now, whenever you break apart a molecule, you release energy. So when we break apart that hydrogen and oxygen molecule in water, we release energy. And that energy travels in the form of ATP. So this ATP molecule is formed during the breakdown of the water. And that ATP molecule will also travel over to the stroma. And that ATP molecule will provide the energy for the light independent reaction. The hydrogen, which will jump off of the NADP, will um, join with carbon dioxide, which comes into the plant from the atmosphere. And this combination of hydrogen, which is energized by the electrons from the sun, recombines with this carbon dioxide to form sugar, which is, comes out typically in the form C6H12O6. Most people know this as glucose. The energy that drove that process from the ATP is used up, and we release a molecule called ADP, adenosine diphosphate, which will travel back to the light-dependent reaction to pick up more energy. Meanwhile, the NADP, which has given up that hydrogen to combine with the CO2, that NADP will also return to the grana to pick up more hydrogen. So this cycle between NADP, NADPH, and ADP, ATP is continuous throughout the chloroplast. So here we have um, an ATP molecule. An ATP molecule has three phosphates attached by energy bonds attached to an adenosine molecule. So this is adenosine triphosphate. When we break apart that molecule, we break that bond between the phosphates, we release energy. This now gives us a ADP molecule, which will travel back to the light reaction, where another phosphate will be attached. And you will now again have ATP, which has three bonds of energy. Sometimes, in some cases, you may break more than one bond. You could get AMP, adenosine monophosphate. But in the typical form, the cycle is ATP to ADP, adenosine diphosphate. Here we have the grana again. And again, this process of the light-dependent reaction takes place in the thylakoid membrane or the thylakoid space. 
So here we have the grana with the thylakoid space and its thylakoid membrane. There are three processes that take place during this light-dependent reaction. The first is photosystem two, where light energy photons from the sun are absorbed in the thylakoid membrane. This causes water to split, releasing hydrogen and the oxygen. The hydrogen then goes through the electron transport chain where high energy electrons move down this ETC and creates the hydrogen ions in the thylakoid space. These hydrogen ions are then bonded onto the NADP in photosystem 1 and that is the how the hydrogen will then be transferred to the stroma for the light independent reaction. In the light independent reaction, we have the stroma, which is the bridge between the grana stacks. And in this process, you have a six carbon, six, six carbon, you have six molecules of carbon dioxide. And these enter the cycle in the stroma, and they combine with six five carbon molecules, which are already in the stroma and they recombine to form 12 three carbon molecules. Now these carbon three these three carbon molecules will then travel through what is called the Calvin cycle and during the Calvin cycle the ATP energy from the light dependent reaction will cause the hydrogen ions from the NADPH and these three carbon molecules in the stroma to produce the sugar this glucose or fructose, galactose, typically glucose in the form of C6H12O6. Sometimes in this process, we will also produce some of the lipids, amino acids, and other carbon compounds that are necessary for the plant's survival. The basic chemical formula for photosynthesis is six CO2s, six carbon dioxide molecules, for every six molecules of water to produce a single molecule of glucose, C6H12O6, and to give off six molecules of oxygen to the atmosphere. This is the basic process of photosynthesis.